The feds may have what they believe to be a pretty solid case, but if they can get somebody to flip, if they can get somebody to cooperate, that seals the deal for them. If I have somebody basically coming in and giving me the play by play, and from the from the feds perspective, they're like, we already know what happened. We just need you to confirm it for us. What will happen is, you know, they'll let you live. And you think, I mean, you think you got away with everything. And so you'll just be out living life thinking everything is all good until they get you for something that has nothing to do with what they really want you for or who they really want to go after. So you'll get pulled over for a busted taillight. Turns out you got a bunch of guns under the seat. You got a bunch of drugs in the car. You get arrested for that. You already have priors. When you have priors, it makes your exposure to the next case that much higher. That's where they dangle that carrot in the person's face. It's like, hey, all right, man, well, you know, you're looking at 20 years, right? You're looking at 20 years. And didn't you, didn't you just have a son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you just had a son, he's like six months old, right? You know, he's going to be crawling soon, right? You know, aren't you supposed to get married soon? You, you have that fiance, she's a pretty girl, huh? Real pretty girl, right? And, 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 and some of these guys will be solid, right, in the beginning, but eventually, when you're looking at decades in prison, when you're looking at potentially the rest of your life in prison, that's when even the most solid of guys or, or what people thought were the most solid guys end up folding, they end up folding, and they're like, "Man, you tell us what we know, you tell us what we want to know, and we'll show you some love." And I'll tell you, it is it is one of the most tense things that you will ever see when you're in the courtroom and there is a snitch on the stand, man. Because a lot of times, a lot of times they won't even look, they won't even look straight up, they won't even look straight up. They'll be looking off to the side. Right. They'll be on the witness stand, you know, what I'm saying uh, defense table is over here. So their man is sitting across there and they'll just be like this and they'll be testifying like this. Won't even look over. He like, man, it's crazy.